Hello, my name is Mark. Welcome to I Am Organic Gardening, located in Zone 6B, and welcome to my 10 acre farm and garden. Thanks. And today I'd like to show you what's alive inside my worm bin, if anything besides worm. Is there any microbes, and what type of microbes are growing inside this worm bin in that organic matter and worm castings? So I want to take some samples all through the worm bin here before I add food source, a new food source in the trays that I will be adding in here before the worms will migrate up to the top. I want to get a good balance of what's going on inside that worm bin. So I'm going to start with a very clean container and then also just a couple of spoons to scoop out about let's say seven different locations and place it inside that container. So I'm going to take a a little bit of a sample right here off the top. Move a couple worms out of the way here. And then a cup. And now we'll just go deeper down. Down to the base. Lots of worms. Get here. Get a sample. Get the worms out of the way here. And I'll go through the whole area and get more samples. So here I have a pretty good sample of the whole bin area. And let's go inside and look underneath the microscope. I moved inside and the next step we're going to do is take our container of uh, worm castings and we're going to add some distilled water so we're not adding any extra bacteria or anything else either. So we'll open this up. And we're just going to add about twice the volume of what's in the container. Now we just take a glass slide, that's nice and clean. We'll put that down there, like so. Draw up a couple little drops. Place that on our slide. And we'll cover that with a lens. And then we're ready for the microscope. Now we have our slide underneath the microscope, it's over here. We have our camera set up, which is on top, looking through, and we're getting a live feed through the computer. And let's see what we can find that's uh, moving around inside our worm castings. Okay, this is our first look here, looking at our worm castings uh, from the bin. And let's see if we can, this is only 100 magnification. Let's go to 400 and readjust here and we'll just focus in slowly so the camera can see there we go now let's enlarge the screen here I'll go the other way I'll let this all focus for you here now what you see moving around all in the background here there's a little bit of shadowing because it's layered now all this here is bacteria moving around, all of this. So we have lots of bacteria still feeding on those worm castings. Now this is interesting, this one little round globe here. Now if I can get maybe a better shot. Yeah, it's just there. This I believe is a cilia. Now because it's perfectly round, on the outside edge here is bacteria that it has trapped. Oh, it moved. So it is alive. What it does inside here is, is the digestion part. What it does is it lures in the bacteria on the outer side and there's a little bit of an opening and then we'll bring it inside and trap it and that, then digest it. So there is other things in here eating the bacteria. Not just the bacteria itself is there moving around. So that's pretty cool. So here's something also very interesting searching around. And let me enlarge it just a little bit more, let it adjust. This H shape that we have right here, that you can see, that's fungal hyphae. This is good to know because we're not just bringing in bacteria, which is all the movement around in the background. We're not just bringing that in, so it's uh, bacteria. We're also bringing in that good fungal uh, dominated part of the worm castings also too. So here's a much better shot of the fungal hyphae. And you know it's a fungal or fungi is because of the breaks here. Now, because that's how it grows. A plant root does not have that 
or um, this is a decomposing fungi only. This is not mycorrhizal fungi. This, because uh, that needs a living plant root and there's no living, uh, any kind of green living specimen that's growing inside of a worm bin at all. So this is just regular decomposing fungi and again, you can tell by these breaks or segments here and that's how it grows. This is part of what you always see when uh, you move wood chips around, that uh, white fungal hyphae. It, and a lot of people call them mycorrhizal fungi, but it's not. It's just decomposing fungi. It's uh, saphotrophic fungi, and that's the official name of it. A lot of people look at it, you know, as we'll say, oh, gee, that's mycorrhizal fungi, but you need a, a living plant root. And you can just see here that it's just doing very well, just in worm castings, uh, breaking that organic matter down and feeding off of that. So I've been searching for the last maybe two hours now, and I came across this, and I almost passed it by because it wasn't moving. Where the little hand symbol is in the middle of your screen, let's enlarge this. This egg-shaped object that we have here, right here. This is a protozoa, which is awesome to find. It's not living anymore because it's been underneath the light and it probably killed it off or it's slowing it down. But inside the belly of this, this is the mouth here. Right here is the mouth. I'm, uh, I'm pointing to my finger. That will bring in the bacteria, which you can see that's on the inside. They're all dead because it's digesting them, of course. And this would move around, and it just acts like a little suction funnel here that brings in this living bacteria. That's the moving parts you see here inside the protozoa and will eat all that. Now this is fantastic to have. This is the main one. It's almost like a nematode. So when it eats everything here and poops it out, it releases plant available nutrients instantly for your plants and this is what you want to find. This is fantastic to have. Now I wish I can get a better shot here for you. Let's see if I can enlarge it. And I'll show you one that's that I found on Google and you can match them up or get a better idea. Now there's all different shapes to them of course. Now I'm sorry that I can't really focus in on this that very well. I only have a uh, $300 microscope here. Um, just bear with me. There we go. A little bit better but inside the belly here you can see is just a little bit of the remnants of some bacteria that's going along and there's tiny little hairs on the outside that move this along it's almost like a like a little submarine going along or something like that and these hairs just move up and down and it just swims along inside the uh, water here now I just googled it and I'm holding on to the protozoa the protozoa is spelled P-R-O-T-O-Z-O-A now there's all different types of shapes to them and you can see here through the uh, images that you have here on Google and this over here, this one particularly on this corner here gives a good idea what that protozoa should look like. Something very similar to that. Again, there's all different shapes and they will change uh, a little bit, you know, because it's decaying and also dying from the um, little light that I have on the microscope here. I'm just having so many things going through my head. I also saw something like this in there too. Now I've never identified one before. Now where is it? It's a little, it's kind of like a trumpet. There we go, this one here. Now I just saw something like that when I was searching around before. This one here I'm looking at right here, this trumpet looking thing. That is also a type of protozoa that will bring in here through the mouth and digest them. And I wonder if I can find that again for you. I'm not sure. I just, let me see if, what I can do searching around. Oh, this is so cool. I just came across this. Now here we have another living type of protozoa. Now hopefully I can keep it in ah, range here. Now... There's, you can see it swimming and the little hairs moving around. I've never caught one actually alive here. And now it's moving out of range here. I don't want to lose it. Let's see if I can keep it in focus here. Here we go. Just stay still. Smile for the camera. Here we go. Pretty cool. 
pretty neat. Let's see if I can focus a little bit better for you. It will keep moving around, but you can see those little hairs. It's like almost like a uh, a shrimp. There we go, a better picture. And that's a protozoa. And here, you can just see it's bringing in a bacteria right by its mouth. It's trying to, you know, uh, just use like a vacuum type operation and just clean up all the bacteria in there. Now, it's moving downwards. Let's see if I can. Here we go. Pretty cool. This is what I love about it, because here, this whole other network, the soil food web, is just living and just eating all this bacteria, and it's just recycling all those nutrients. And through the help of scientists, we have finally learned what all this is about going on here. Now there's a really good picture, if I can hold it steady here. There it is, right there. And hopefully you can see all those little tiny hairs moving around this is just fantastic and it will just constantly keep eating and pooping out nutrients available to plants it's just it's a it's the like the line of the jungle here if you have a lot of these protozoas living in your soil it will do a fantastic job for you let me just move this out of the way i'm just going to film this for a little bit longer because it is kind of rare to see a little moving one and all those little hairs moving around and we're just going to stay with it for a little bit here unbelievable so this is what's inside the worm casting bin also too and when you add those worm castings in um now for this to move from the worm bin to worm castings that you save i also understand that this will also either hibernate or lay eggs if it knows that it's going to die. So you are actually bringing over a new uh, area for that to live in again. So when it rehydrates, this will continue to bring back up. And once the bacteria starts growing, it will know this, open up its egg, search out and start eating the bacteria again. And that's how the soil food web works and just maintains. It is just amazing how this creature now this is at 400 magnification and just simply awesome that we can see this through a microscope and understand that it's just constantly searching it always just keeps uh swimming around now you can see the size of this compared to the little bacteria in the background let's just let's just do an open view here now i don't know if you're going to be able to see the bacteria swimming around so now this is why you wish to build soil aggregates in your soil. So this can move around and eat the bacteria. You want your soil open and aerated and also uh, have that fungi, the mycorrhizal fungi in there, to open it up. And that's what it does. It makes highways so this can swim around because this is so big. How can it move between those soil particles if it's, all those soil particles are compact? That's why you don't want to till and that's why even after you till and disturb the soil, you will kill this off too quickly. And that's why you want to save this. Now, it's just doing a fantastic job here. Well, let me move this over a little bit. Oops, wrong way. No, 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 I almost lost it. It is ever so delicate, this. There we go. And let's see if I can get one final shot, and then we'll wrap up this video here. And here we go. Let's see if we can get in there. Our nice little, you can just see the hairs move right on the top in the background there, just moving along. Now it's very docile. This thing would just be moving around so quickly, just vacuuming up bacteria all the time, and that's what it does. But again, just a great little thing. After two and a half hours now, I finally found one that's pretty much still alive. They're not plentiful. There's that's what the other thing is too. You can feed your soil all the organic material you want and uh, try to increase your organic material, which is great, and you'll increase the bacteria. But only when the bacteria has made a home of so much of it 
Will the protozoas increase their numbers? Will they will hatch larger eggs? Or uh, they will know that they're dying off and try to uh, save themselves by hibernating somehow. I believe they try to make a, like kind of a, a hard cocoon around themselves with other material and try to keep themselves moist until maybe uh, another rainfall or conditions may change. But this is very interesting. And again, worm castings are fantastic. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to thank you much for being very patient until the very end. <laughs> um, I just, this is fantastic. I hope you uh, can share this with other people and like it and just have a fantastic time enjoying this. And I will see you again shortly. And again, thank you for always watching my channel. Enjoy your day. Thanks.